G'day there, Dan Curley here. We're in central Otago, which is synonymous with small game hunting. Obviously rabbits, they get a hell of a lot of attention and uh, you know, cockies love them to be shot, but what I thought today we'd do is we'd just look at some basic safety tips when out there rabbit shooting, because at the end of the day, you're still using the firearm. So uh, today we might whack a few bunnies and we'll just see if we can identify a few areas throughout the hunt where we could be better and improve so we uh, minimise the risk of serious injury or, or even death. Be one here, just down in there. There, there, on that grassy patch, just coming down now. All right, so we've just shot one so that using a semi-automatic, straight away there's another round up there, up the chamber. So it's a lot of accidents seem to be occurring, with people not knowing the state of their rifles, not knowing that there's another one up there, they forget, they become complacent, they go down to the rabbit, they catch up with a mate and they're carrying a loaded gun the whole time. So always know the state of your rifle, make it safe, which generally is not having a round up the chamber until you need to fire. But if you do, knowing where your safety is and just being aware that it's ready to fire so the barrel needs to be pointed in the safe directions at all time, treat every rifle as loaded. Oh mate, there's tons of them down there. So with small calibre arms, you're ten and a half times more likely to sustain a gunshot and that includes ricochets. So when you see a rock, like we've got here behind me, um, there's a good chance if you, if you hit that rock your projectile's going flying elsewhere. If you're hunting an area with your buddies, who knows, that bullet might take a turn and head in their direction. So a lot of time accidents are occurring, it's just with handling firearms. Come to a fence for example, make sure the rifle's in a safe position. Place it down on the ground first, alright. Go through the fence. Then collect the rifle. Don't try and climb, especially with barbed wire. It's just a recipe for disaster. Just there against the base of the bush. So you know, you might think that you're just hunting rabbits. A lot of people become complacent. Ah, oh, we're just bunny shooting around the boys. But the reality is you're holding a firearm. When you see a rabbit run out, it's only a bunny. You don't have to kill it, right? So when you're swinging around and you're ready to take a shot and it's moving and it's moving and it's moving, make sure you know where you're swinging because your field of view and your scope's only so wide. If you suddenly rattle off a shot and you've shot over the ridge and next thing you've put a projectile through the farmer's uh, rooftop, you're probably not going to be invited back for another Easter bunny hunt. So just treat everything with the utmost respect, the rifles, the location, the people around you and the animal itself. We'll sneak down to this gully, there should be something in this gully. Oh, you're just here, there's something through here. So another thing with small game hunting is you tend to be just firing rounds. Just by the fact that you're going through so much ammunition, you're just increasing the probability of an accident occurring. So just remember that you're firing a hell of a lot of shots generally when you're having a good day on the rabbits. It's a small chance of accidents, so you've just got to be as vigilant as you can at all times. There's one directly behind that bush, and here he comes down, see So another key point is just being aware of where you are and aware of the country because over a ridge you might be in a perfectly open pasture paddock to shoot bunnies but over a ridge like here we've got a spur, we've got a fence line, then we've got a highway. So a stray bullet heads that way, next thing you know, you know you, you've caused an injury or, or maybe even a death. It's just a matter of being conscious of your surroundings at all times. And also private land hunting, often you're using a vehicle, whether it be a truck like this or a motorbike, uh, you know, you've got a high percentage chance of having an injury, whether it's people in the vehicle or people shooting, and even getting in and out of the truck between shots or after your shot. Just make sure your rifle's in a state, all the ammunition's out of it, it's in an open state. Tell everyone in the vehicle, boys, it's all clear, put it in the vehicle, or better still, put it in a case and put it in the, if you've got a truck like this, put it in the back, put it in a hard case, there's no risk of getting damaged. Uh, but just make sure at all times, someone else grabs that, that rifle out and you've got it in, a, in an unsafe state, they don't know about the state of it, and there you go, you've got a, you've got a um, recipe for disaster. So, um, just being conscious at all times, in and around vehicles. I mean, it's a privilege to be able to be on some of the private land we get to and we utilise our vehicles, but if you're not in control, then potentially that's another avenue for an accident to occur. So, uh, just being conscious at all times, bumpy road, bumpy four wheel drive road, accidental discharge, next thing you know you'll regret heading out that evening or not being in control for the rest of your life. Well, you want to have fun while you're out, that's why you're out, you're out with your mates, you might be out on your own, you're enjoying yourself, it's your recreation, so you don't want to be going around like some kind of military operation, but just safety, 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 just thinking of the consequences of not using your firearm correctly.